my channel so if you saw my last video you may have already thought hasn't she hauled enough but apparently not I'm going to go through all of the clothes that I have sort of accumulated over the past month or so I didn't pick all of this up just in one go it has been something that I've accumulated over time so don't be too shocked by the amount of things I'm about to show you I definitely didn't buy them all in one go anyway let's just get on with the clothes because I'm sure that's all you're here for this has to be one of my favourite things that I have gotten probably in the past year and it only cost me £7. I literally got it in the post yesterday so there might still be tags on it, I don't know. Um, I will do cutaways of course but it's just this really fluffy scarf sort of faux fur stole. It's like the ones from Prada a few seasons back but they are obviously a lot more expensive than £7. This was in the H&M sale and um, did I mention it was from H&M already? I'm not sure but this is from H&M and I actually saw this particular scarf on Charlotte Martin, she's got a really cool Instagram and a really cool blog and I saw this and I actually had seen it online and I thought it would just be kind of like a really small, not that nice looking scarf but when I saw it on her that it was just this massive massive thing I just had to get it, especially when I saw that it was half price so I am so happy with this, it feels really good quality even though it's H&M um, but yeah I'm really excited to wear this with like all black outfits and leather jackets, just everything and I don't care if winter's sort of getting over, um, I'm always cold so I can just rock it in my house you know. Next is this huge coat that I can see that my cats have already been sleeping on so ignore any cat hairs, um, just ignore them but this is from She Inside. Um, I actually quite like a lot of She Inside stuff, I like a lot of their outerwear, I find that some of their jersey pieces can maybe be a little bit cheaper than they are, they are very very well priced so you know what you're going to expect but their coats and their outerwear in general are really really good quality this is just almost sort of like a khaki green army style coat but I just thought I didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe so why not get a green coat I've got pretty much every other colour of coat apart from green so yeah I picked this up and I think it was around £50, $50 or something like that so not expensive at all for a really nice quality coat next is this man's t-shirt this is from Foot Asylum and this is an LS, I think that's how you said it, but it's basically like a really retro t-shirt. It's a man's one, like I said, and I think I've got it in a size small, so it's going to be quite nice and oversized. Um, basically, I wear a lot of basics, as you can probably tell, so I just decided to go for something a little bit different that has a slight logo on it, but also does look a little bit retro, so I thought that looks really, really cool on a lot of other people, so I may as well try it myself. I'm probably going to wear this with you know, the standard leather trousers, skinny jeans and leather jacket, that sort of thing. Um, but I just think it makes a maybe a more basic piece look a little bit less basic and I haven't seen this brand around in such a long time so when I saw it I had to pick it up. Also from Foot Asylum is this Adidas jumper or sweater and again this is men's, they only really do men's clothing on there but they do do women's um, shoes and accessories but I really really like this, I like obviously the logo on the front and I like the numbers on the side and it's got stripes on the back and I just thought it was really interesting. I got this in a men's small so obviously it's not going to be small in terms of my body type but I like things that are oversized anyway and this was $49.99. Next is this sweater from Toby and if you haven't heard of Toby it's basically this website that sells some of the most amazing pieces that's completely up my street. It also sells like really girly dresses and that sort of thing so it does kind of cater for everyone. I like to think of it more as like almost like a niche ASOS um, but yeah I got this and it's just your standard sweater really it's got um, some sort of faux leather patchwork sleeves on the back and obviously a pocket on the front it's quite nice and oversized and baggy which is again how I like it but I thought this was just really really nice really really great for layering and I don't know if it has a price on it but I know they're not that much like nothing on the website is that much a lot of you will probably have heard of Etail PR, it's like a blogging network and a blogging sort of platform that people can work with other brands and things like that. So I started working with Goldie London and they sent me this t-shirt, I thought this was, it's pretty much a word that comes out of my mouth every single day regardless. Um, it says badass just in case you cannot read and it's just a really nice sort of slumpy t-shirt that I really cannot wait to wear. Again, great for layering, I'm just going to chuck a leather jacket or something over this. But I really, really like the fit of it, it's got sort of rolled up looking sleeves which I always like to do with my t-shirts. And yeah, I just really like how it's almost like a muscle tee but um, tee as well so I just really like this and the quality is really, really good as well and I know that these definitely aren't expensive either. Now as well as that they also sent me this ridiculously fluffy, what's it say, cream fluffy knit cardigan and it is probably the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Now you may be thinking how on earth are you going to wear this because obviously it's completely not my usual style. Um, on the model it did, did look a lot different so 
This wasn't actually what I was expecting, but I've seen a lot of people wear their sweaters sort of backwards, so kind of this way, and maybe have it like a v-neck at the back or something. So I'm going to play around with it. Either way, I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of it, purely because of how warm and snuggly it is, even if it's just a case of wearing it with my pyjamas. But I will try and sort of make it work for my style, but yeah, I'm basically determined to wear this because it is so damn cuddly. <laughs> Something else that was sent to me by Sheenside is this really low v-neck jumper. I've seen a lot of these, I think Stella McCartney did one and then there was one on Gina Tricot or Tricot, I'm not sure how you say it. And this one is a lot lower V than I expected so I really cannot not wear something underneath. Um, basically I'm just going to have to invest in like a, just a quite standard vest that doesn't really look overly noticeable. But as a sweater I really really like this. Um, if you are willing to, you know, get yourself out there then why not? Like I said before I really like the whole v-neck at the back look so maybe I could turn this around and see how it looks that way but I do really like this um, and it's quite well made obviously you have got a few sort of fraying ends around here so it's not the best quality but again it's really really cheap so you cannot go wrong. I guess this isn't really clothing it's more nightwear but I was sent this by South Beach and I love just nightwear in general. I'm pretty much always in pyjamas. I mean, I'm in my boyfriend's South Park pyjamas right now. I don't really know how that happened, but they're very comfy, so I can't complain. Um, but yeah, when they offered to send me like some sort of nightwear, I just couldn't be happy. I think I'm more happy to talk about nightwear than I am clothes and makeup. I don't remember the last time I've basically had like a nighty. Obviously, it's like a night dress, sort of shirt dress sort of thing. So it does come down and covers my bum. But yeah, I really, really like this. It's really comfy, not too thick, so it's not too warm, so it's not going to make me really sweat buckets in summer. But at the moment, it's really, really nice to snuggle up in. It's really comfy to lounge in as well. It's not restricting in any way, and I just really, really love this. If night dresses aren't your thing, they've also got like an actual pyjama set, so you can always check that out as well. And they've also got a load of other really nice pyjamas on there. I know they've got one that says cutie pie or something, and it's got a slice of pie that I thought was really, really cute. So yes, I have been wearing this already, as you can probably tell, but I love it so much. Another thing I picked up from Toby were these leather shorts. I have had a few leather shorts in my time, but they've never had the elasticated waistband, and anyone that knows me knows that I just love comfort over anything. So when I saw these, I actually had to have them. They're not too tight. They're really sort of loose around the legs, so I feel like they would look really nice with maybe like a jumper and like a blazer and that sort of thing. But yeah, I'm really, really excited for summer to come around just so I can wear these, because right now I think if I wore these, my legs would fall off. Finally, onto accessories, and one of the nicest things I've probably ever been sent, purely because of how sort of delicate and just thoughtful and generally beautiful it is, is this Monica Veneta, um, I'm gonna try and get it out, just bear with me for a minute. It's this Monica Veneta rose gold bracelet, and this is just so beautiful, so up my street. So you just pull this clasp here and it sort of tightens it. It's really comfortable to wear, and I just think it's so nice. I'm not too much of a jewelry person, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous and you can get it engraved as well. I've got mine that says, keep it simple because you know, that's how I roll. But their jewellery is just absolutely beautiful and I have my eye on so many other pieces. But yeah, when this just fell from my mailbox, I was obsessed and I just haven't been able to get enough of it since. And every single time I use it, I always make sure to wrap it up in the box and the bag because I'm going to keep doing that until this just basically doesn't even look like a bag anymore because I just like how luxurious it feels whenever I put it on. They are pricey but obviously maybe a really nice gift for Valentine's Day or something like that. You can get like your boyfriend or your girlfriend's um, initials in there. I know they do other colours and other styles as well but yeah you can get loads of different things and you can get an engraving here. Um, you can get loads of different things basically like I said so yeah I really really like this and I love that it's rose gold because obviously every, everyone is sort of obsessing over rose gold right now so yeah. Next up is this pair of shoes from Soul Affair. They contacted me via the Blogger program, which is a great program if you're not already a part of it. And they asked me if I'd like to pick out a pair of shoes. It took me so long because they had so many nice pairs of shoes on there and they're all really, really affordable. So I might actually have to go back on there and make about four or five different purchases. But yeah, I thought these are really classic. They're gonna go with a lot of what I wear. They're like a normal standard brogue with a slight platform and I'm always up for making myself look a little bit taller. But yeah, they're really, really good quality as well and I think they're around 20 pounds on the site, so absolutely nothing. And yeah, I just really, really like these. Really excited to wear them. Probably again, just gonna wear them with my usual uniform, skinny jeans, sort of tailored trousers, that sort of thing. So yeah, I've really been loving these. 
South Beach also really kindly sent me this bobble hat, it just says New York and I actually really liked it just for the colours. I'm not overly sure if bobble hats even suit me but I've always really wanted one so let me know in the comments below what you think of me wearing it in the cutaway and be nice because I'm sure that there will be a few people that aren't overly keen with the bobble head. But yeah, I'm really excited to wear this so next time it gets really chilly I'll be sure to wear this with like an all black outfit or something. So I hope you enjoyed watching this haul, if you are looking for more like a beauty based haul then you can check out my last video. If you're new it would mean the world to me if you click the subscribe button, I think it's kind of around here somewhere. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching, I hope you have a really good day as always and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!